I was watching the 1995 playoffs because I'm forced to go back and watch old games in order to see any players with skill. Anthony Edwards, instead of these flopping, double dribbling, carrying, running all over the place with the ball in their hands, unskilled players of today. And it was the Hornets versus Bulls. And game one started by recognizing Muggsy Bogues for his court vision. That season, he had 675 assists. 103 steals, 132 turnovers. And I thought, what was LeBron's best season for assists? Because LeBron fans like to say that he's a pass-first guy, which he is not. But let's run with that for a moment. LeBron's best season for assists was 2017-2018, with 747. It was also that season that he had the most turnovers with 347. Someone told me that they measure true assists by subtracting turnovers from the assist uh, total. So if we did that in this case, Muggsy would have had 543 assists once you subtract his turnovers from his assist total. With LeBron, once you subtract his turnovers <coughs> from his assist total, he would end up with 400, which would mean Muggsy would have 143 more than him in that season. Remember, the only reason I chose that season is because YouTube showed me a game from that season. But here's what Muggsy could do. 867 assists in one season. The best so far from Mr. Mouth is 462 less. And the king of this modern era, after trying for 21 years, has still at his best, come up 120 short of Muggsy Bogues. And that's even with the league stat padding for this guy. Muggsy, Muggsy underneath, slam dunk. On three, Bogues with a fake, then a drop off to Larry. Muggsy got it to Perry. A little advice from Muggsy Bogues to guys who now have the rules changed to accommodate the skills of toddlers. Learn how to dribble and don't pick up your dribble. A few things to consider. Today, they'll give a player an assist if the ball goes in the basket within five minutes of when the guy threw the ball to him. It's really not a fair comparison. Secondly, I don't agree with the subtracting turnovers from assists because it's just not the same. I think a turnover is far more devastating if you throw the ball to somebody and they don't convert on the basket, well, it was an attempt at the basket. It just didn't work out. And that's not the passer's fault. But when you turn the ball over, that's demoralizing for the team. You know, you didn't even get a chance. You didn't even have an opportunity to shoot. You don't make all the baskets. That's just the way it goes. You don't make every shot that you take. But when you don't even have the opportunity to take the shot that's when it hurts LeBron James is the all-time leader in turnovers he is the all-time leader in one of the most deflating things you can do to your teammates and then James dribbles it off his leg Ginobili comes free throwing LeBron James with the basketball in his hands but unforced error trying to push the ball up the floor Turnover and a great play by Ginobili. Doesn't try to go for the deuce. And the Cavs don't get a shot off. San Antonio comes into Cleveland and wins. So. Oh, he just violated. LeBron James just violated the end line. You know, he can't believe it. He's like, I, I cannot believe I he, just He's had a couple of those brain cramps this year where he's traveled, not really thinking. And, and watch here. Just not thinking. What is he doing? Loses the basketball and unable to save it. A sloppy play, a rarity. Yeah, if you consider 5,211 times a rarity, sure. These announcers always trying to help this guy out. Just yo-yoing the basketball, trying to get some rhythm and try to cross. cross. Well, I could spend all day talking about this guy's turnovers and his behavior afterward like just talking aimlessly at people as if 
to somehow indicate that it was someone else's fault. But this was mainly about giving Muggsy Bogues a little bit of love and calling out Anthony Edwards. So I'll cut this video here. I hope you enjoyed it.